Team Ray is the winner in the 28th Annual World Cup Challenge in 2011, a real money trading contest that goes for a year. From New Zealand, team, CTA, system vendor, and trading champion. Welcome, Tim. Thanks, Georgia. Did you always want to be a trader? Well, I don't know if I always wanted to be a trader as such, but I certainly always had a fascination with the market. Um, to give you an idea, uh, when I was a kid, I think I might have been seven or eight or something, I had shares in a company, and I can remember actually getting the Wall Street Journal every week and looking at it. And certainly as a family, uh, we talked about um, things relating to the market. How many years have you been trading? Well, in terms of trading, I didn't really start till the late 80s. It probably sounds a bit silly, but it was when I first had access to the internet. And then I got probably pretty serious and went full-time around 2002. So it was easy for you to learn how to trade? Oh, no, no. Um, it, it was a really long road for me. It um, took me a number of years, and uh, certainly I made some very expensive mistakes along the way. Let's say you could go back in time. Would you do it again? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Um, put it this way, I'm really quite happy to have done what I've done and very comfortable where I'm at. Um, but having said that, if I had actually known from the onset how long it was going to take um, and what was involved, I don't think I would have done it. Um, I think if I had my time again, I think I probably would have put a lot more emphasis on um, choosing the services of the professionals who are already doing this reasonably well and a lot less on the uh, attempting to trade for myself. So I know there is a lot of emotion involved with the trading and how did you learn how to overcome those emotions? Yeah well certainly trading brings out a whole lot of emotions that often you didn't probably even realize you could have um, and I don't think that you actually get rid of the emotions but I think what completely um, but I think what you can do is you can learn how to control them in the sense that you don't necessarily control the emotion but you control it in the sense that you don't let it um, influence what your decisions and what you're doing. Um, having said that, I think simply time in the market, time trading, and particularly with the frequency I trade, I have become much more used to the ups and downs that we typically see. You know. How good at trading do you have to be to actually be able to make a profit? Well, I think you have to have to be reasonably good, particularly the, the more frequently or short term you trade. Um, you've got things like your bid ask spread to overcome, you'll have um, trading fees. Um, a lot of people, of course, would have trading software and maybe data feeds and things they need to subscribe to. Um, so I think you've done it relatively well just to even break even. And I don't mean to be discouraging, but the reality is that most people who, who trade for themselves actually end up losing money overall in their accounts. So what are you doing now? Are you working on any new project? Well, I'm always working on new systems and things like that, but probably one of the most exciting things we're doing at the moment is we're working with a firm called Progressive Trading Group. And what we're doing there is um, we're having our systems traded and customers can trade right alongside us so they'll get the same trades as us. So what are your strategies? Well, I, st I, I use a number of strategies. So I use a quite, a, quite a range of strategies. They're different. Um, I'm using different methodologies, different time frames, and different contracts. And the idea around that is to try and have a portfolio effect um, so that I don't place too much reliance on any one method. All methods are going to have their ups and downs, and by putting a number together, that can often help smooth out our, our net returns. So what are your favorite markets to trade? Well, I generally like things with relatively short-term volatility for the way I trade. Um, and probably my favorite at the moment would be the Euro US dollar because that's got a lot of short term volatility and I certainly would trade that more than any one other contract at the moment. Is there a secret would you like to share with beginner traders? Mm, well, it's a secret they probably won't want to hear. What's the secret? Well, I touched on it before. Basically, most people that trade for their own accounts lose money. Um, Another thing I'll probably say is that if you do want to trade for yourself, and I understand that I've done that myself, um, it's probably going to take you a lot longer than you think. So if you're serious about this business, plan for it to take years for you to learn how to do this successfully, not months. We all know you're, you, you're a champion, such a good trader. Why do you feel you want to help other people to, to trade? Well, when you're just a self-trader, you really have no particular reason to have contact with other people. And so... By doing what I do, it kind of sounds a bit silly maybe, but it gives me an excuse or a reason 
to actually have involvement with other people. Otherwise, you know, I could just be sitting in front of my computer screen and never talking to anybody, you know? Yeah, of course, you like to have a team and everything. Yeah. So what do you do in your free time? Well, free time, um, I'm involved in local church. Um, I do a lot of recreation with people back in New Zealand, things like boating and dirt biking, just the usual things that everybody does, you know. Show me the money. Well, the money. Um, yeah, where is the money, the real money? The real money. Show me the money. Well, seriously, um, we have the live history available on what we've done. And I just real want, money. Real money. That's, I think that's a, a big point of difference. A lot of people won't understand. Some of the stuff they look at on the internet is not real trades. It's hypothetical. And the stuff we're doing, we're trading with our own accounts and people can see the actual trade history. We're talking about real trading history here. Real trading history. With not, a trader that made history. Yeah. I team. mean, that's the thing, that, that the contest you were referring to before. That's a real life contest. It's not hypothetical. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I like to talk. I just like to talk with people and they actually work with real yeah. money. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tim. It's so rewarded to have you here, fly all the way from New Zealand. And thank you so much again. Thanks very much. Good night. Good. Thanks.